This week's dream car is a 53 Cadillac 62 series car. At this point in time, GM was on a tear to take over the world. They introduced the triple crown of collector cars. You had the Olds Fiesta, the Buick Skylark, and the Cadillac Eldorado. This 62 series was sort of the standard Cadillac, and it came with a 331-inch motor. It came with a dual-range hydromatic transmission. But some of the options that were available is power steering, power brakes, power top, power seat, and of course, chrome wire wheels. One of the big things about the 53 Cadillac is chrome. Obviously, the first thing you notice is probably six square feet of chrome here. And these bullets here, they were referred to as Dagmires after a buxom TV personality of the 50s. And as if this wasn't enough, check out the rear bumper. GM's obsession for chrome and bumpers continued at the back of this car, again with these giant bullet, bullet bumpers and the exhaust coming through the bumper itself. One of the small perks of owning one of these cars was actually pulling into a service station and having an attendant look around the car where to put the gas in. Well, GM had incorporated in the taillight. Kind of trick. And now that we know where the gas goes, let's take this thing for a spin. From the second you jump into this car, you know Cadillac succeeded in producing a luxury quality car. You, you step into the interior and you've got a quality carpet. You've got real leather seats, not some vinyl or naga hide type material. The canvas top, I mean, when's the last time you were in a convertible with a canvas roof with chrome bows? You look out over the hood of this car and you have a hood ornament. When's the last time you drove a car with a hood ornament? Obviously, the guy buying this car had some money back then, but today, when you drive this car, you can't talk about the performance. The performance isn't like current cars, but you feel like you're in a luxurious car. The steering is power steering, and you have this great big wheel. You have a motor that's probably fairly big in cubic inches compared to some of the cars today, and you have some power, and the brakes, they're not four-wheel disc brakes, but the car does stop nicely, and you know Cadillac succeeded on putting out probably the best car from, from this time period. So when you're driving one of these cars, you can't expect performance and refinement like today's car, but it reminds you of an era that was probably simpler. If not simpler, it was probably better. What a great car to drive, but that's not the best part of this car. The quality of this restoration is spectacular. The paint is perfectly flat. Every reflection is perfect on it. The door gap fit is spectacular, the way the doors open and close, the trunk, the hood, perfect. The chrome plating, there's got to be $20,000 in plating on this car. Every piece has been flawlessly re redone. The roof irons are perfect. The canvas top itself is nice and tight. The weather strips are all brand new. The upholstery in this car, a work of art. Somebody spent hours and hours on this car. And if that's not enough, you have a look under the hood. The hood is just spectacular. Check out the engine bay on this car. The motor looks brand new. The attention to detail is what makes these cars show winners. The inner fender aprons are nicer than most paint jobs on most cars. How about the chrome on the inside? It's flawless. It's as good as most chrome bumpers when they come back from the plater. How about the attention to the detail, all the correct stickers? The fittings have all been polished. All the right hoses and hose clamps and all the right decals. How about a reproduction battery that's perfect for that era? A rebuilt carburetor that looks brand new. The power steering looks brand new. And the whole undercarriage on this car has been detailed as nice as this engine bay. It's just a work of art. But it doesn't stop there. Go into the trunk, and that's a beautiful trunk compartment. As you can see, the attention to detail is everywhere in this car. Look at the trunk compartment. All the original stickers, the original spare, the original jack with the correct red spring retaining it. The finish on the, the trunk mat is flawless. This whole car is a spectacular restored car. And quite frankly, the restoration can get into the six figures. So how do you put a value on this car? Well, the reality of it is, is this car's got to be worth $80,000. It's probably a little less than what it costs to restore it. And at $80,000, the car's a good buy.